Hi and welcome everybody. Thank you for joining. Today we'll be talking about the different types of internet connections, dating all the way back to the 90s and then continuing towards today. So let's get started. Uh, the first one that we have to think about is dial-up internet. So this is the first type of internet that I can remember. Um, came around in the 90s and it was a pretty slow connection. Uh, so you're going to want to avoid using dial-up unless you absolutely have to. Um, I believe that the only places that are still really using it in the United States anyway are in uh, very rural areas where you wouldn't have a cable connection. But for the most part, um, I do believe that uh, dial-up is pretty obsolete at this point. So the problem with, di with dial-up is not only its speed, but it also requires you to um, connect to your phone line as well. So. Uh, I always remember when I was a kid, my mom yelling, hey, you know, get off the internet, I need to use the phone. So that was pretty annoying. Then DCL, uh, DCL, DSL came out. Uh, DSL uses a broadband connection, which makes it faster than dial-up. And the great thing was that you could use your phone at the same time. Uh, beyond that, satellite internet is also available. It uses the satellites that orbit the Earth. Uh, it doesn't require cable or phone lines, which is kind of nice. But if the weather gets bad, that can disrupt your signal. Uh, finally, we have cable, and so that's faster than dial-up and DSL, and it's available where ke uh, cable TV is available. So um, you may use that at your house. You just have to kind of check your connection and see uh, what it's connecting to. It might may uh, connect with fiber optic cable or a coaxial cable, depending on your connection. And then lastly, we have 3G and 4G, uh, commonly used with mobile phones and connects wirelessly through your internet service provider's network. So remember, if your uh, internet ever goes down at your house, that shouldn't affect your, um, your cell phone. Remember, if you have your cell phone connected to the Wi-Fi, obviously it'll, it'll um, disrupt that signal, but if you disconnect from the Wi-Fi, you will still be able to have internet on your phone even if your internet goes down at your house. So I hope that helped to explain the different types of um, internet signals or internet services that are available to you. If you have any questions about it, please put it in the comment section. Uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe uh, to the channel if you haven't already. I do uh, thank you for watching and again if you have any video requests just ask below and I'm happy to do a video. Thank you so much.